scientists are faced with a big challenge with hydrogen production. There are only two ways of producing hydrogen. One that uses old fossil fuels which isn't very green and another that is great for the planet but it's still a bit expensive. Now if they can figure out a way to produce hydrogen in a green way and get the cost down it would prove to be an abundant clean energy source in the future. Well I have good news. There has been yet another breakthrough in hydrogen production. So how do we produce hydrogen? Well the most common way at this time is through the process of natural gas reforming. But producing hydrogen in this manner has some serious downsides. It produces harmful byproducts named carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. I'm not going to go into crazy depth but let's just say this isn't the greenest way of producing it. There is a green way to produce it however by using electrolysis but this uses loads of energy which makes it more expensive. But I have good news. A study published in Applied Nanomaterials found a way to strip the oxygen from the water molecules to leave the hydrogen gas. This requires post-consumer aluminium and gallium. This method uses aluminium nanoparticles and yields large amounts of hydrogen. This removes one of the biggest barriers to hydrogen production, the large amounts of power required to produce it. In a quote by Scott Oliver, one of the scientists, we don't need any energy input and it bubbles hydrogen like crazy. I've never seen anything like it. Because it doesn't need energy for the process to split the molecules it will lower the cost of the production and this way is also super green unlike with gas reformation. And that's not even the coolest thing, this technique works with any kind of water including wastewater and ocean water so we won't be running out of this fuel source anytime soon. So how does it work? Well the key to this process is the use of gallium to enable the ongoing reaction with the water. The aluminium gallium water reaction has been known about for a long time but here the team has taken the same process and optimized it in a few ways. With the help of scanning, electron microscopy and x-ray diffraction techniques the researchers were able to find the best mix of aluminium and gallium for producing hydrogen with the greatest efficiency. Their findings were that a 3 to 1 gallium aluminium ratio was best. According to the researchers, people have struggled to make aluminium nanoparticles and here we are producing them under normal atmospheric pressure at room temperature conditions. Now that's all great, but with this method we do need some materials to make it work, namely aluminium and gallium. Aluminium is easy to get from post-consumer materials such as discarded aluminium cans and foil, but gallium is a more rare and expensive material. Luckily according to the research the process can use the same gallium many times over without losing its effectiveness. All of that said there is still work to be done, one of which is making sure that this can be scaled up from a lab setup to something that can be used on an industrial scale. But this is yet another method that we can use to produce green hydrogen. I feel like if scientists and smart people all around the world continue they will perfect their technology further and further. Hydrogen as our main source of energy is possible and I feel like it's not that far in the future. But let me know down below what you think. Do you think this is a possible future hydrogen technology or are you fully electric? Let me know what you think is the future of motoring. Is there a specific engine you feel like is the engine that will lead us into the future? If you do, leave it down below. I'll go do some research on it. And if it's really cool and whatever, I'll make a video on it. Yeah. So if you like this video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I've got many more videos on cars, anything car related. So if you like cars, this is the place to be. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.